What's up guys, Warlock here, welcome back to the channel, I hope everybody's having an awesome day. Today I got an Apex Legends video for you, and I'm going to talk about 5 things you shouldn't be doing in Apex Legends. Let's do it. Before we begin, if you're new and want to improve your gameplay, get better aim, and other Apex Legends tips, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you guys don't miss out on anything. Alright guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I want to talk about 5 things you shouldn't be doing in Apex Legends if you want to improve your gameplay. Now these five things I came up with over the allotted time of me playing and noticing what my teammates are doing or the randos that I'm doing, you know, the randos that I'm playing with are doing. So I want to take this list and I want to help you guys improve your gameplay by not doing these five things. So let's get started. Now, I feel like all of these things are kind of common sense and common knowledge, but in Apex Legends, a lot of players just overlook these things. So, number one is stop taking so long to loot. Stop being a loot goblin. In Apex Legends, players just play and want to loot all these boxes. They see a gold box or a purple box, and they just want to loot, loot, loot like it's in, you know, a Skyrim RPG, and they're going to be able to keep all this loot. In Apex Legends, the game is so fast, and you have to loot the same way. So if you want to be more effective and improve your gameplay, you need to get faster at looting. Whether this includes increasing your cursor in the settings menu to be able to navigate through the boxes faster, or is it just a knowledge factor of not knowing what to grab or are you switching weapons? Now, when you are looting, to not be a loot goblin, what you need to do is just be able to armor swap and grab ammo. Those should be the first two priorities and then heals after that. You should be able to slide through the menu and loot these items fairly quickly. If you're taking too long, then you're looting too many things. Now, in, in the middle of combat, I've noticed players doing this as well. They're taking way too long to loot so much stuff while fighting is happening right nearby them. All you have to do, armor swap, grab ammo, get back into the fight. If And that's at the least. The, the most important thing you should be doing is just armor swapping. Now, if you've just team wiped somebody and you want to be able to loot and swap weapons and stuff, that's fine, but you need to make sure that no teams are around. Once you've completely team wiped someone and you have the allotted time to loot, then you can take your little bit of time to loot. But even then, you should be looting a lot faster because teams rotate in this game super fast and they're going to be able to third party you eat third party you even quicker so stop being a loot goblin and loot faster tip number two is zone panicking stop panicking so much in the zone i see so many players zone one zone two oh we the zone's coming in we don't have enough time we have to immediately get into zone no this is the wrong way to think stop panicking with the zone and players panic even more when they're fighting in the zone or if they've just won a fight in the zone and they want to get out Respawn has done an amazing thing by reducing the zone's damage throughout each zone in the game. Now, before anything after zone one, yeah, that might have been scary and I can kind of see the panic. But even then, you can heal out of it if you have heals, especially after winning a team fight. Now, in the zone, you don't need to panic. You still need to play cool, calm, and collective. Plus, if you take your time, a lot of teams are going to be gatekeeping. So if you take your time, rotate out, figure out where teams are, you know, maybe loot the team that you just finished, get their heals. You can always rotate in and out of the zone. You do not have to panic inside the zone and make so many rush movements or non-thinking, you know, moves in Apex to get out of the zone. The zone has been reduced by a lot of damage, guys, all the way down. Now, the only zones that you really have to worry about are zones 3 all the way to the end. Zones 1 and 2 are not so bad anymore, so please take your time, stop panicking in the zone, and think cool, calm, and collective before you make your next move. On to tip number 3, and this is probably one of the worst ones that I've ever seen in this game, and that is healing every single time you take damage. Now, there's a lot of cases where you have cover or you're in a, you know, building to building situation where you do have time to heal. But in a lot of cases, when you are fighting, I've seen players with red shields or purple shields. They take half of a shield bar of damage and they want to heal everything up and leave their team fighting while they're healing. You don't need to do this. There is so many times that I can tell you that when I've been playing or my teammates are playing and they're weak, they have half shields or no shields and they continue fighting. And sometimes this gives us the win in the fight or it allows the person who was weak to do a trade, meaning they come up with me, we shoot, he trades and gets knocked and then I finish the player off and then I can get the res and we're right back at it. You do not have to heal every single time you take a point of damage. Now, if you're in a stalemate building to building or you're shooting long distance fights, sure, 
you have all the time in the world to heal but when you're up close and personal and you're having those close encounters you do not need to be healing every single time you take a hit okay a lot of the times this is going to take you out of the fight and you're not going to be able to win the fight it leaves your teammates exposed if they get knocked then your team's going to get aped so you do not have to heal every single time you take a point of damage now along with this one this goes hand in hand with this guys i've seen so many players as soon as they take damage and they get hit they immediately run away from a fight instead of staying and fighting okay and then they heal you do not always have to do this there's so many players that just you know they think because they took a little bit of damage that they can't win a gunfight please stay in the fight heal when is necessary or when you have cover from your teammates to heal you don't need to heal every single time you're not always going to be able to fight at full power in apex legends a lot of times you're going to be left full shields with half health you're not going to be able to get back into that fight at full health every single time if you think you're gonna going to you know a lot of times your team's going to be eliminated because you're not going to be there to help them so do not heal every single time you take damage now of course this does depend on your situation but you always don't have to heal on to tip number four and this is something that i've seen more in pub games than rank games but it is straying away from your team there are so many players that i've seen while i'm playing public matches even from the drop they don't like the spot that you want to go or the duo wants to go and they veer off from their team they leave their team 2v3ing everything and they go off and, and try to be you know a god and 1v3 everything stay with your team stop veering off or going your own way just because you want to play the game your certain way okay that is a selfish way of playing and a selfish way of thinking this is a team game and you want to be able to play as a team okay you're not always going to be able to drop at your at your favorite spot you're not going to always going to be in control of you know the igl the in-game leader and make decisions for your team you have to be the best team player that you can be and one of those things is sticking with your team there's so many times that you're playing and if you're away from your team they get into a fight you know they die but what does that do for you you're not going to be able to go around and just 1v3 everything or 2v3 everything and get wins it's not always going to happen or be that easy you have to stay with your team this happens so much in public games it is unreal stick with your team stay together if you don't like that suggest things ping try to communicate and turn those comms on and be communicative about where you want to go or what you want to do but please stay with your team there's so many times that i fought in apex legends and my teammate just runs off and does his own thing he gets knocked and then he turns on his mic and wants to know why you know he's all by himself well you ran off by yourself and left your team hanging so please stick with your team always all right guys the last and fifth final tip that you definitely do not need to be doing in apex legends is leaving the game okay so many players in pubs and ranked and it's more ranked they're cheating in my opinion but in pubs and ranked players leave the game as soon as they're not i don't understand how this is a thing there are so many chances for you to not only be revived but be rezzed from a respawn beacon in apex legends and you can do that infinite times it's not like if you get knocked and finished that you're out of the game completely but there's so many people that have no patience and no like strategy to be able to, oh well i'm knocked that's it i'm done i'm backing out and i'm just starting up a new game because i got knocked or i drop i didn't get the gun the guy beat me i'm knocked and i'm just going to leave the game and leave my teammates hanging now i will say i am guilty of this i have done this before but it's not satisfying in any way and i've also been on the receiving end where players are just leaving the game especially in ranked it's even worse when you're playing a ranked game in high level lobbies and the the teammate gets knocked and he's he is resible right not respawn like we need to get his beacon but he can be revived and he just dc's and leaves so one that tells me that the player's cheating and two that tells me that they have no patience or they just didn't you know want to continue the game for whatever reason because they got knocked now i will tell you guys in apex legends you're going to be knocked and killed a lot it's going to happen all right so if you think you're going to be able to play this game and not ever be knocked and be killed and you're just going to play every game on your feet then i have you know it's going to be a bad time you're not going to have a whole lot of fun with apex and a lot of people are going to be angry with you so please stay inside the game plus if you think about this on the ranked end if you stay inside the game you're going to be able to get those rp points if your team does make it all the way to the end and get a win so please stay in the game all right guys that's going to do it for today's video i really hope that these five tips help you guys out and help players who want to improve their gameplay don't do these five things if you are guilty of these then try to reflect and improve on these things and make sure that you're getting better at them or you don't do them again 
If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like as it does help me out. And guys, only 5% of you that are watching the videos are subscribed to the channel. 94% of you guys are watching the videos and not subscribed. So please click that subscribe button, turn on the bell so you guys don't miss out on other Apex Legends tips videos. As for me, Warlog, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.